Nana and welcome to our today's English lesson. That we are going to look at punctuation. And under punctuation, Nana, you realize that there are a number of things that uh, we need to check in to look uh, look at before we are able to answer any question concerning punctuation. Number one, we we'll know capital letter writing. Nana, you know the difference between capital J, capital J. You know, you can write something, you write it like this, I don't have any problem. And small letter must go down the line. Capital I may look like that, or like this, or, yeah, this or this, or a small letter must look like that, must have a dot at the top. We draw up K. Capital K look like that, may look like that, and small K must look like that. This part must be half the line, half of the line. So that is capital letter writing. You may get that there are a number of things that must be begun with capital letters, like name of a town. We have a town like uh, Turkana town, Turkana, must begin the capital T. We have towns like Mombasa, it must begin with capital M. And we must not differentiate capital M and small m. Capital M Lana will look like this. A small m is round in nature. It's round in nature. You may write as big as you may wish, but this one is still small letter, my few. Believe you me, Lana, that is what we deal with here. Another thing we have in punctuation, so the first thing we deal in punctuation is, is capital letter, capital letter writing. Then number two, we have the use of, uh, the use of commas, the use of commas, a comma look like that. The use of exclamation mark, exclamation marks, and then again, we have the use of question marks, and again, we have the use of quotation marks when we are quoting certain things. One, we have the apostrophe. Apostro, apostrophe, very important. So now, as you can see, the apostrophe, the question mark, apostrophe simply look like that. It look like a comma, but you put it on the top of a sentence. Like you can have it, and the area that apostrophe is put here. A mark is being put there, and that's called an apostrophe. A question mark look like this, and using questions. Then a quotation mark, uh, no, quotation marks are the, the beginning. The uh, beginning of quotes, actual words spoken by a speaker, like the one we normally use in direct speech. We open and then we close at the end. And then we have a question mark that looks like that. Then we have the exclamation mark, and the exclamation mark looks like this. And normally used to when you are uh, when you are astonished by something. Like drop of hura, we are born. That hura must we must put it in an uh, exclamation mark because you have explained. Explained, then a comma look like that, then a couple letter, like for example, N, look like that. So learn these are the things you are going to consider. In this our lesson, and the work you are going to do today, we are going to deal with that, looking at different sentences, and how and declamation, and how quotation marks or uh, punctuation marks are put in each and every sentence that is given. We have to see number one. We may be given a sentence like this, there was an announcement. I'll write the way it is written here. There was an announcement. There was an announcement. There was an announcement. An announcement on TV. On TV that the Prince of Wales. But the Prince of Wales, of Wales, would be visited, would be visiting, would be visiting, visiting Kenya on Good Friday. On Good Friday. 
So now this is a statement. This is a very good statement. There was an announcement on TV that the Prince of Wales will be visiting uh, will be visiting Kenya. I will left something here. Kenya. Let me just wrap and write it well. We'll be visiting Kenya. Visiting Kenya on Good Friday. This is the way it is written here on Good Friday. So we need to rectify this manner to see what we need to rectify before it becomes a good and a, a well completed sentence. So number one, Lana, you do beginning. All sentences must begin with a capital letter. So begin with there, Lana, and we ensure that this one is there. Capital letter. There was an announcement. Up there is okay. On TV, because TV is an abbreviation of television, it must be capitalized. There was an announcement on TV, on TV, that, I also left that here, that the Prince of Wales, so Wales here must be calculated. It's a Prince of Wales, eh? The Prince of Wales would be visiting Kenya, in capital letter, in the name of a city, or a, of a nation, Kenya, on Good Friday. This is just a very important location. It's a national holiday. So all national holidays should be written in capital letter like that. On Good Friday. So this sentence is now correct. Because we are rectified, we are doing the capital letter, we are seeing all abbreviations like Mr, Mrs, TV, and etc. must be in capital letter. Prince of Wales, Wales is a place. We'll be visiting Kenya in of a place on Good Friday. We also have a very good, a very important one here. This is A. Then we have B. And you can say this, let me write it very fast. We've got, we've got to get, to get up early. In the morning. Now let's look at this one as well. We've got to get up early in the morning as we were leaving early tomorrow morning, the one and say Very important number. This, if you are very keen, this one is that uh, whatever is being tested here is how you can put a direct speech. So the person begins here. We've got to get up early in the morning. So we begin quoting, beginning of quotes. Then this is we have, we have got, we have got to get up early. So we've put a what? We put a, an apostrophe there. Short form, so that is a short form. Eh? So we say, we've got to get up early in the morning as we were leaving early tomorrow morning. As we were leaving early tomorrow morning. End of quote, put a comma and then you close. And remember that beginning of any quotation of mark, there must be a capital letter. Beginning of our speech, when our, the words are, are quoted, you must put a quotation mark, a beginning of quote, then a capital letter must be there. Then you speak now. We've got to get up early in the morning as we were leaving early tomorrow morning. Comma, then you put uh, the end of quote, then. The word and now, small letter, the word and say it. Full stop. Those words were spoken by the word and. Another one. Another one. Another one is this one. See. B. 
Very good one. Where are where are the two the two boys bags bags the teacher asked the teacher asked the house leader the house leader you are responsible for them for them now look at it very clearly where are the two boys bugs the teacher asked so we begin here the actual words spoken by the teacher are these ones here so we begin at the beginning of what couple letter where are the two boys so the equation becomes here now look at it well where are the two boys so the bugs belong to the two boys and now remember you can put an apostrophe to mean position ownership of the bugs the bugs are owned by the boys by the two boys so apostrophe comes after the plural now i mark that very well if something belongs to one boy then it's talk of the boys coat one boy this is one boy but if there are two boys then you put apostrophe after s to mean that that thing is owned whatever you think there is owned by the two boys so you come and say that where are the two boys bags correct like that where are the two boys bags question mark where are the two boys bags end of quote the teacher asked the house leader. Then we put a comma and then we begin we begin another position mark. Because he added something here. We give a couple letter. You are responsible for them. This is what the teacher added. A full stop, then we end of quote. So we say, where are the two boys marks? The teacher asked the house leader. You are responsible for them. So we are looking at this added words by them. Those are that were that added by the party, the same same person. So Lana, I don't want uh, to continue more. I want simply, simply to stop there. And as soon as uh, you get my work, Lana, ensure you do it well. I'm giving you 15 questions only. Remember, do them well. Punctuate those words well. And ensure that you follow the rule that we have said. When you are using a comma, lana, a comma simply divides two sentences. And a comma can also be used to show additional statement above somebody. Like some, if you talk of uh, Sister Rospolin. Sister Rospolin is our head teacher. Sister Rospolin, comma, our head teacher, is coming tomorrow. So the use of comma there has divided part of the sentence. We have only added more information of, the, of that person. And if you must know where it comes. The chief guest, who is my father, is coming with me. So we are, we are very the more information about your father. That's why we are using a comma there. So you must use a comma well, you must use a question mark well, use quotation marks very well, use couple letters very well, and ensure Lana that you are work is visible for me to mark it properly. Why are you talking about visibility? Ensure that before you take a snap, ensure that there is enough light and ensure that your work is well covered by the screen of the phone. Don't just take, uh, uh, put, uh, take, take the photograph anyhow that I am not even, even able to see. So for easy visibility learner, take a, a, a smart snap and make me see your work as soon as you finish to make us forge ahead with the zeal. But then next time I will wish you a well. bye.